Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be making a Christmas card that lights up using a stamp set that I just got called Star of Light. This stamp set also has a matching die set that I'll be using as well. To start things off, I've already pre-cut a card base and I'm going to be covering the entire back portion of my card with PAL glitter um, paper. I believe this color is champagne and I used a good amount of adhesive to go ahead and apply this paper down to the entire base of the card. And if you've never used POW glitter paper before, just know that it does not flake. So you can rub your hand all over it and it will not come off on your fingers. I'm also going to be using the matching die cuts for this card and I'm going to run those through my Big Shot. So first things first, I'm going to use my Big Shot and a detailed snowflake or star die to cut out a design out of more PAL glitter paper. And I actually ended up running this through the machine twice. So I kind of went through until it cranked through and went back and forth just to make sure that I got a clean cut. And I'm also going to be using the larger starburst or star to cut in to the panel that's going to be the backer piece for my card. So I made sure that I got it fairly centered before I ran it through the machine. Here is that white panel that you just saw me die cut and I'm going to go ahead and adhere down a piece of vellum that's going to cover the opening. I want the opening to be somewhat transparent but not completely see-through. So I just use a little bit of tape runner adhesive and I'm covering the back with a small scrap of vellum. And I'm going to take the star that I just die cut and attach it to the front panel of the card on the vellum using a little bit of liquid adhesive. I decided to use the longer sentiment for the front panel of my card and I'm going to emboss the sentiment in gold embossing powder. So I used my embossing buddy to go over the surface of the card panel and I'm going to be using my Misty stamp tool to stamp the sentiment on the bottom portion of this card. The reason I'm using the Misty stamp tool is so that I can make sure I get a really good detailed impression of the sentiment because I'm going to be heat embossing, it's very important that it be clear and even, otherwise you may not be able to read some of the words in this uh, sentiment. After I stamped my sentiment, I removed my panel from the Misty stamp tool and I'm carefully going over the stamped portion with gold embossing powder that I set in place by using my heat tool. Here you can see what the basic design of the card is going to look like, but instead of just gluing the panel down flat and having a simple card, I decided that I was going to use an LED light to illuminate that star when the recipient presses on the front of the card or takes it out of the envelope. And just for the sake of seeing how this is going to work, I didn't cut out any of this footage. So to use these small LED lights, you need foil tape and you're going to run the design down and hide it behind your panel to build a circuit. The instructions that come with the kit that these LED lights is part of is actually quite detailed, but you can also build this using individual supplies instead of a kit. So I laid down the positive and negative sections of the lights and I'm going to loop it around a scrap piece of paper, which you'll see here shortly. And it's really important that everything lands where it's supposed to in terms of the positive and negative terminals, otherwise your light won't work. You can actually be quite messy with your tape that's hidden and still get a complete circuit. You can see here that I looped the tape around quite a few times just to make sure that I was going to make contact with both sides of the battery. And once I was sure that it was going to work where it was placed, I went ahead and I used a piece of tape to adhere the paper that's going to act as the switch down on the base of the card. Thank you. 
Once I'm confident that the switch is working, I went ahead and placed dimensional adhesive on the front panel of the card. And this dimensional adhesive is the same width as the battery, so the front panel is going to lay flat without interfering with the switch. I've turned off a light so it's a little bit easier to see, but here is a look at the final product. You just have to press the front of the card and you'll be able to see the star illuminate. So that is a quick peek at the final product. And as always guys, thanks for watching.